All right, everyone, welcome back. I am officially the worst Minecraft YouTuber out there. I just recorded a three hour video of building a bridge on this world, which is the Minecraft beta world. If you guys are not familiar with this, we build all sorts of things that you guys suggest in the comments. It's been a while since the last episode and I really wanted to make an episode today and I went and I built an entire bridge and didn't record anything. But I figured I didn't want to leave it out of the series. So I will show you guys the bridge that we built and I will go over it and how I did it. It's nothing absolutely remarkable or anything, but it was a fun episode nonetheless with uh, figuring out how to design it and such. But this is what we came up with. This is the bridge that we have. It's chicken. I thought it was a creeper. Um, and so I just wanted to go over it anyways and make a shorter video out of it showing you the bridge. Uh, unfortunately, it just is what it is. Sometimes when you're making YouTube videos, you think things are working and they're just not. So <laughs> anyways, uh, I'm going to wait for it to be daytime and then we'll continue the um, tour of the bridge here and I'll show you guys how I designed it. But I actually, I forgot I even built this thing. Look at this little lighthouse here. Isn't that pretty nice? So anyways, you guys know how this series works. Please be sure to leave your build suggestions in the comments so I can build whatever you guys suggest for the next episode. The top rated comment is always what gets chosen for the next episode. So, okay, let's sleep and then we'll go over the bridge. Okay, first things first. I don't know if I ever showed this in an episode, but I did build this basement, which is just, just uh, extra storage. And then we also... Um, this is what we did in the episode that I didn't get to. I'm like, I feel like I'm being swarmed by creepers. Um, <laughs> this is what I didn't get to show uh, because I wasn't recording. And so this is uh, pretty much where we got all the stone for the bridge. It is a giant mess, but I figured I would show it anyways, in case you were wondering where the materials came from. And so now we can go over the bridge, which... Um, this little exit is actually right next to uh, the wall. So that's one of our uh, main pieces that we've had for throughout the beginning of this world. I think that's where we settled. But here is the bridge. We'll uh, hop into this boat and we can go on the water and you can have a look at it from over here. Man, the boats in this version, they are quite clumsy, aren't they? So here it is. It's kind of this archway pattern. And uh, it's very simple. I want the builds in this world to be detailed, but also really simple at the same time so that it has that beta feel. And I feel like this bridge really accomplishes that. It's kind of nicely done, but it's not like over detailed or anything like that. So it looks classic. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the design. So I was looking at a picture of a bridge in real life that's called the Sterling Bridge and kind of saw um, some similarities in what I was doing and so I just tried to replicate a few things in that with the archways and such um, and then I kind of did like this slab design up top with these stairs and so if we walk onto the bridge I can uh, go in depth a little bit more about that but we'll go underneath here in a second so you can see how I did this I basically lined the whole thing with cobblestone underneath and then we have gravel on top and the archways are <laughs> this boat is <laughs> really aggravating me okay uh i think it's right click right all right whatever we're gonna walk around with a cursed hand for <laughs> a few minutes here um and so this is uh what it looks like from far away so pretty neat and then if we jump up here oh there we go Hands fixed. Okay, so we have these kind of like guard tower things um, just because I wanted some sort of pillar on the side and it's got stairs in this sort of orientation. So two facing each other, one facing inwards. Then up top we have uh, the slabs, which are kind of in this cone shape. Uh, we can't really make uh, stair roofs um, in this version all that well. And so you had to get a little creative here. And so I used slabs instead. Plus, I wanted that lighter texture block because it matches the uh, the border right here. Um, and then for the actual like design of the bridge, I did this weird thing where we have like the middle point of the arch has this smooth stone block. And then this is the pattern I was talking about. So it is two stairs facing each other and then a smooth stone block in the middle. And then I just lined the top with slabs. 
And if we go over the edge here, you can see every time there's one of those arches is when the centerpiece gets placed. And so I kind of did that all throughout the bridge. And so now we have a nice, lovely view of everything over here. And uh, we can start building stuff over on this island as well, because that was the whole reason we built this was we had no way to get over from there to here quickly. But now we do. And so now we can build a whole bunch of cool stuff over here. So uh, that is our bridge. There's also this really scary like underneath section here. I hope no mobs are in here ready to take me out. <laughs> you can see it's very, very dark. So maybe we could put something in there, uh, some sort of cave builder, something along those lines if you guys have any ideas be sure to leave them down below um but i think that's it for the video that is going to be my little bridge tour there's really not much else to go over it's pretty straightforward i'm very bummed that the video did not record but it is what it is i need to upload it anyways so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed uh this little bridge tour uh, if you guys have a name let me know and we will name the bridge in the next episode and uh, yeah, if you haven't already, please be sure to leave a like on this video so that I know that people want to see these more. That's a good indicator for me of what videos are doing well and what ones aren't. So if you guys are enjoying the video, um, it does mean a lot if you leave a like. That's a great reference for me to see what you guys are actually enjoying watching. So anyways, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so, so much. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. See you later.